Welcome to a new video. Today we want to have a look at some or at least one 3D printed printed part I made. I just recently got a 3D printer and that's why I want to try, storm, try some stuff out. Uh, as you can see here I made some velocity stacks or at least I printed some velocity stacks and I want to put them on my 4AG20 valve because that has ITBs and these stock velocity stacks kind of suck. The reason for that why I'm making a video is because that is PLA. And if you are into 3D printing, you know PLA is not really temperature stable. Uh, it's said to be getting soft at around 55 degrees and uh, disintegrating at above 60, 65. So I want to test the limits of PLA. Well, this is just an experiment. I, if I'm going to use these long term, I would print them out of ASA. Um, but I'm going to resin coat these with polyester resin and uh, see how they fare and also make some sound tests because uh, I have ran the car with the stock trumpets for a while um, but they are kind of weirdly angled like they go like this so it doesn't really work that well and I'll we'll see if they make any difference on the dyno if they help the engine out achieving the stock power level after the rebuild <laughs> yeah so uh, I guess see you when I coat these in resin and install them and uh, we'll see how they sound and how they behave. Although I will not show you a dyno run in this video because I actually haven't been there and um, that will come in a future video. So it seems even with PLA these velocity stacks held up quite good. I drove like 300 kilometers with them now and they held up absolutely fine. Obviously it is winter right now so temperatures are like between 5 and 10 degrees celsius. So in the summer might be different and I'm probably going to print them in ASA. But still if you for example after a, a mountain drive or like a spirit to drive put your hand on the velocity stacks they actually feel cool to the touch cooler than the um, rest of the engine and probably like i'd say 25 to 30 degrees so melting is a really not you're really not at a risk of melting at least in colder temperatures uh, the thing i would be worried about more if you didn't use resin to coat them is the structural integrity because um, pla is quite brittle and therefore they might break and uh, yeah that would be an issue if they break off for example other than that they work pretty well the video does not do the sound justice unfortunately because they sound quite different and even more aggressive if you are in the car and like driving besides a uh, guardrail or something where the sounds reflects off of it um but still it works fine like this so it would be possible to use them with pla but maybe for the long term at least coating them with a resin might make sense and uh maybe also printing them in ASA if you for example don't have an enclosed printer. That's it from me for this video, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.